front of me, down the riverbed over there, are two ground hornbills, and they're feeding of something. I don't know what it is yet, but they're going crazy. They're busy pecking away. You can see there it is, and they really are hammering something in the ground there. So I don't know what it is, and I'm scared to go too far forward and that we chase them off. So what I'm going to try and do is just pull a little bit more to the left and hope that they stay where they are and we can get a better view of whatever it is that they're feeding off because they're really going to town on whatever it is. They're pulling and they're grabbing. So let's just try and see. Hopefully they won't get too much of a fright as I pull to the side here. And it'll be nice just to get away from that tortoise because that tortoise really smells. Monique in London, you're asking, could the smell attract hyenas? For sure, it most definitely could attract hyenas. What has it got there? It looks like it's got a maybe a bird. What is that? I don't know what that is that it's busy feeding off. But look, it's quite big. You can see where it's pecking. And look how it's stabbing. Isn't this a phenomenal? So it's not every day that we get to see ground hornbills. And now we've got the sighting of it feeding on something large. It looks like a big bird that it's eating. I wonder what you found. And it's a female ground hornbill that we've got. And a bit of meat on her beak that she's cleaning. And we know she's female because look, she's got a bit of purple underneath the throat. What are you feeding on? That is interesting. I have no idea what it is. It looks bird-like, doesn't it? It looks like it's got feathers. Am I correct in saying that? It's got a bit of glare on my monitor. So I'm trying to see, but it does look bird-like. But look how it's stabbing at it to open it up to get what it needs. This is phenomenal. It just shows you the size of prey that ground hornbills will go after. Now, you may think that this tortoise was killed by a ground hornbill and maybe that's what they kind of killed first but Tundi's tracks are there with that tortoise and you can see her tracks all around it which means that that tortoise must have been there already last night and we know ground hornbills are not active at night so they didn't kill the tortoise now Liza you want you think that well you're asking whether a ground hornbill would eat tortoise well yes they, it's their number one predator basically they will turn tortoises over and pull their legs and head off and then try and get that long beak into that carapace and get all of the meat out of it so hornbills are a very big predator of tortoises but that tortoise has been dead long before these ground hornbills were here the smell from that cannot be from these guys foraging today but i want to know what they've got it's it's big and it's bird that's all i know at this stage and i'm really quite intrigued as to know exactly what they're feeding off the problem is i don't want to get too much closer because i don't really want to chase this hornbill away in case it does move it for us but it is phenomenal to watch the way that they feed and how they use that big beak you would think that a bird like this would struggle to get a carcass but look at how it Look at the force that it uses, almost like a pick. It's incredible. That is absolutely phenomenal. And we can be sure that there's no leopard. The leopard, this bird would have been chased away by now. But that is absolutely crazy. Look at the force. It really is hammering that carcass. It's craziness. Odie Farming, you say this is a murder scene that's going on between the bird and the tortoise. Well, yes, it feels like I'm in a graveyard at the moment. It's quite a macabre scene that we've got between all of these guys and the hornbills going crazy t and going to town on this bird and the stinky tortoise behind us. It really is quite sort of macabre to be in the middle of all of this i wonder like i say if maybe the, this wasn't caught by the leopards as well and these ground hornbills are now scavenging off it i suppose it's possible i wonder if it will let us get any closer so we can see what that actually is i'm so intrigued because look how deep it's pecking it almost looks like it's the wing section is up towards us Yes, you're asking if we could predict the time of death by the insects that are present on a carcass. Well, I would imagine you could. So the stages of the, the fly larvae, let's say like maggots that would be on that tortoise you, or eggs that you see could indicate the age of that carcass. We haven't examined it enough and I don't have gloves on me to go and play around with a rotting, smelly 
tortoise. Also, I didn't want to disturb these hornbills. So now we could definitely, if we saw eggs for flies or found maggots or something like that, that would indicate. But I reckon it's when Tumba was here. So remember we found Tumba coming from this area before we had his little altercation with Hosanna two nights ago and i think it's from then just from the smell of it like i say yesterday i mean if it was killed yesterday we would have definitely had seen it here with tandy so i'm not sure but it's moving off now let's just go try and sneak forward senzo and see maybe we get lucky and we can get a little bit closer and sneak into the sighting the problem is on sand is we don't really sneak anywhere on sand because of the how much the kind of cars dig in and it's not easy to turn and also we know wendy as you can hear, is not the quietest of cars. But let's see, I'm hoping this ground hornbill is not too skittish and it will let us get a little closer. Although it's already moved off a little bit. You know, the ground hornbill is not interested in us at all. It looks like it almost could be another ground hornbill, you know that. It's weird, it's black, jet black feathers, although ground hornbills will have white tips to their feathers. Oh, come on, Wendy. Come on, turn. But it is. Look, they've killed another ground hornbill. This is crazy. Whether they killed it or they've just decided to sit and cannibalize it, but that's ridiculous. I've never seen this before, but it is definitely another ground hornbill. Look at that. You can see the white trailing edge I was referring to, the red of the head there, and those big feet. It is most certainly another ground hornbill that they've killed and fed on. That is absolutely insane. I have no idea why they would kill another one and if this territorial fight's got this crazy. But it is certainly been killed or fed on by these ground hornbills. And I didn't know that they cannibalize each other, which is to me an absolutely insane thing to see that is absolutely ridiculous you can see lots of flies around and i'm just trying to see around if there was lots of sort of movement maybe you never know maybe tundi grabbed this sometime during last night if they were roosting somewhere in these trees and she fed on it a bit and then left it and the ground hornbills have scavenged i don't know it's going to be very difficult because their tracks will be all over that section now and i'm going to battle to see if there was any leopard tracks there but there is definitely is a ground hornbill that's for sure that is phenomenal i have never in my life thought that these guys would cannibalize each other that is really quite ridiculous actually no, I want to try and go forward. The rest of the flock, and it's more than just one ground hornbill. I can see at least four or five that have moved off. But you can see the damage that they can do. I mean, they've literally picked right through that body. And that's not the sign of a leopard eating a bird. And a leopard wouldn't leave a carcass like that. So for those of you that are a bit squeamish, maybe now's a time to turn away. But a leopard wouldn't eat like that. You you can see how they've actually picked the head away and they've picked down the chest and into that cavity and they've kind of eaten all the way around the feathers and that's an adult bird it's not a young bird it's got a red face already so why they've killed it i have absolutely no clue that is crazy 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 wow who knew that they would be this violent if they did kill it, I mean, that must have been the most insane fight to have watched these guys going after it. But there you can see the big feet and claws. So, Monique in London, yes, I will report it to the guys that are studying the ground hornbills, just in case they want to come and have a little look and see, and maybe if they want to try and determine a cause of death, in case there's something other then these hornbills killing it so we will just let them know also they maybe will be able to id it from the other side of the head because they do have photographs of all of the hornbills and they kind of know who is who so maybe they'll be able to id who this bird is and be able to work it out but i mean it is completely mangled at this stage it's really been picked and you can see why that ground hornbill is really hitting hard probably find it's trying to get between the bones to get to those sort of areas and be able to feed off it but this is just the most insane thing. I honestly would never have expected them to cannibalize one another, one, even if they were in a territorial dispute. And on top of that, I mean, that is a huge bird to kill. It's not an easy 
prey animal to go after and so for them to have killed one is just absolutely ridiculous i am a bit lost for words and it just shows you, you never know what's around any corner or what can happen to any of these animals so we started out with ground hornbills on quarantine and i said a few were missing maybe the rest have been in this territorial dispute with another flock and this is what has resulted from it i'll have to do some reading up and see why this would happen and whether or not it's been documented ground hornbills cannibalizing one another or maybe some of you at home know and now you can say hashtag on Safari Live if you do have any information about whether they do cannibalize one another and if there are recorded sightings of them feeding as well as actually killing each other. But this is just crazy. Never in my life would I have thought we would have come across a ground hornbill being eaten by ground hornbills. Wow. She must have been a very, very horrible death either way, which is quite something because you can imagine imagine being hit by that beak it's not going to be a pleasant experience and you saw the force that other beak of that other bird when it was trying to eat this it must have been really hectic to have been here and to have seen this so i'm quite glad we didn't see that because it's i have seen birds killing one another before and it is not a very pleasant situation and i'm not talking about birds of prey i'm talking about normal birds having territorial disputes and killing one another and it is really a horrible thing to watch so i'm glad that we didn't see that but and i know this is quite gory but it is in some ways absolutely amazing to have seen i honestly if you had told me that this is what had happened i wouldn't have believed but the thing is we've got documented footage now so if there is no footage of them cannibalizing themselves well cannibalizing one another we've just managed to get that which is really quite something so i'm really going to try and investigate a little bit further and speak to the people that I know in order to try and find out a little bit more but the flock has moved off I was wondering if they might just sit close by and watch us for a while but I think they've decided they've eaten enough and off they go the fact that there was only one bird feeding and I saw at least three in front of it so they looked like there was four of them in total and so if they've decided no they're not interested in this food source then I'm pretty sure they're going to move off